okay? Before you guys, when I'm finished, it's not when I, I finish that you ask me, I, did I record this? I always tell you that whenever we're training and we're training based on any technicality, always remind us to record, okay? So three things that are very, very important. I want to put it down here and you want to write it down. In trading, when it comes to technical analysis, is trend. Trend. Support. Support and resistance. I'll put bracket because that, that's what makes up these zones and what price action. What makes an education an educate an educator an educator is what their knowledge of what about showing you things. You are not, you don't own the chart. You're not in control when you don't know this basic. Let me make it up. Let me make it up. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, so let me put it somewhere here. All right. So there are a few questions when you get started. Speed up. I want to speed you up to being uh, having a, a, a mastery in the market. Speed up. Two things that happen in the foreign exchange market is what? Buying and what? Selling. So you want to write this quick question in the because sometimes a lot of people see the chat and they are overwhelmed. All right. It's just two simple things. Every of the indicators, the tools, the strategies, they do just two things to show you, all right? Buying and what? Selling. So one question in the market that someone who's learning will want to know, if it's about buying and selling, what the first thing is, what, what do I buy and what do I sell? That's take care of what the technical, uh, uh, the basic understanding of your buying currency pairs, right? So I'm not doing that here. But if it's buying and selling, one thing you want to ask is, where do I buy and what? Where do I sell? You want to write these questions down. All right. After you ask the what, the next thing is the where. Okay. And I'll break it down. There are three types of analysis. We, we have the what? The technical analysis. We have the what? Fundamental analysis. And we have the sentiment. Okay. The where happens to be what? The technical. The when happens to be what? The sentiment. All right. Uh, maybe I will flip through it a little bit. Where and when, there are two different things. When is, what's the right time? All right. What is the indication for the right time? But I'll talk about where. Where means what place. So you write this down. The market buys at the floor. Right. You buy a market when it's at the floor and you sell a market when it's at the ceiling. All right. Someone can be doing a sharp note in the chat while you're writing if you're quick your hands are quick okay you buy a market okay let, 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 me, let me just Okay, so that, 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 that's a quick one. I just want to put it there. So the market buys at the floor and sells at what? A ceiling. So the next question that will pop up with someone who's learning is what? Where, how do I identify the floor and how do I identify the ceiling or roof? 
Does that make sense? So these are questions you want to put down. Because these are questions you are going to be asked, right? As you're growing in the business, grow to train, learn to train. When you have the mindset of training, these are the kind of questions you put down. So when people ask, you're training. And the more you train, the more your understanding is improved. Okay, so what we're doing today is what? The how. So let's break it down. I want to take this right now. So the how. So when do you know how to buy? It's just simply what we're doing today. Okay, so I am going to go back into the market because they say something, holy grail. What has happened in the structure in the past has a way of playing what? In the future. Does that make sense? So seeing this market where I am right now, this is a tip I'm seeing. The floor of the market is the base of the market. So anywhere the market touches it and have a resistance on an upward direction, it's called the floor. Okay? So anywhere the market has a resistance towards the up, up, upward direction, all right? So where the market rests up and pull back up, it's called what? A floor. So I'm seeing several floors here. So what I'm doing right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just what? picking the floor where the market what rest off and go back up all right so so what i'm doing is what i'm picking the floors first is i'm picking the floor so this is a so this is a floor right this is a floor am i making sense so let me take it back so i'm taking it back so we see floors okay i'm taking it back all right, so that is for what? Floor. So what I did was what? I just picked floors. The next thing is ceilings. A ceiling is where the market hits a resistance, a rejection, all right, and pulls back to the downward what, direction. It's called what? A roof. So anything that looks like a roof in the market is a ceiling. So what am I going to do right now? I'll take it back. Okay, so here happens to be a roof. Okay, here happens to be a roof. All right, these are roof. This is a roof. Okay, I'm taking the market back. This is a roof. So anything that looks like a cone upward, all right, is a roof. So that is how to identify flaws and what? Roofs in the market. Uh, am I making sense? All right, so this happened to be a floor. Okay, this is a floor right this is a floor so I, I i'm just doing back testing and all i'm doing is i'm identifying the areas okay this is an area of a floor so sharp area of a floor all right so i went back to the four hours and i'm identifying what i'm doing is just what identifying what the flaws yeah does that make sense so are you guys seeing what i'm doing so i'm just speaking and that is what you do when you come into the market. You learn. So here's a ceiling, putting it there, right? Here's another ceiling, I'm putting it there. So just lines. Because those lines, all right, those places you pick right now will be a defining moment for where you're going to buy and sell in the future. So what do I mean? So I'm going to do something right now. Okay, now I'm expanding. All right. So I want to do something right now. So we had there are multiple, because when I put the word down, I wanted you guys to see something. Where you have multiple retracement of price in the same region, all right, it's not tag to be what? A zone. Okay, so we're going to play something right now. We're just going to play something right now. You see that price had what? Multiple areas here. Fluff. Floor, 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 ceiling, 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 ceiling. What I'm going to do right now is I want to put a, I want to stretch something here. Okay, and I'll take it to the future. So I, we've already learned that what do you do when, when you buy at the uh, uh, floor and you sell at the ceiling, right? So this happens to be a strong zone, right? And you see, if I also look at here right now, so I will just identify those areas of multiple, right? So we had multiple retracement here. Okay. 
we have more this area okay i'm going to leave this area so i'm just trying to pick the area oh okay all right all right all right so i'm shrinking right now okay so where I see multiple retracement, reversal, reversal, ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. All right, I'm just picking those areas and I'm just marking it so I will see what has happened in the future in present times. Okay, same area. Floors, 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 ceiling, ceiling, ceiling. Okay. So we're going to use this as our hypothesis. Let's see what has happened in several times in the market. All right. Okay. So this happened to be strong flaws, 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 flaws for a period. All right. So I'm going to also pick this here, this area. You can see we had multiple. So what am I trying to define here? What is going to bring clarity into your buying and selling? All right. So what do I mean? A floor is a buy area. All right. A floor is a buy area. So here I notice is a floor. Here I notice the ceiling. All right. Here I notice the floor. So what happens when the market is getting there again? I buy. So this is a buy area. It became a buy area. It became a buy area. It became a buy area. So every time market gets there, it's buying. Every time market gets here, it's selling. Because now is the roof it's sold, right? Now, what, what am I trying to bring out here right now? Let's take the market to the future. So all these lines I drew out. So this is the present, what, future. But guess what? I wanted you guys to know something. Just if, if, if there is anything I wanted you guys to know is Everything we did, what well, we did in the past. Am I correct? Type in, type in seven in chat. Everything I did, we did in the past. Am I correct? Like way past. Type in seven if I'm correct. All right. So if we did in the way past, just for the present moment, I wanted you guys to see something. So we pull up this line as multiple retracement, this blue line. All right. Can you see it was a ceiling when price got there? That's, so if what you had marked in the past as a zone, right? Can you guys see that when price got there, it had the reaction for the sell? I just wanted you guys to see this, right? So I'm gonna expand this area. And I'm gonna take it back to one hour. So we did it in the what? In the past. So I wanted you guys to see everything. I told you every line, what? Has a reaction, every line. So this was a line and it was a zone, all right? So the price sell. Yes, you guys have confirmed that it's sold. So what does it mean? This means just one thing, all right? If you are able as a trader to identify areas of support and resistance in the market, all right, you will be in control of the market by 60%, right? So this I didn't do yet. Can you see this area, ladies and gentlemen? I drew it in the past. Can you see that when market came there, now we had something like it became a floor. It broke, eventually became a floor. Like taking it back, like I've shrink the chart right now. Can you see what, what is happening? These same areas, what is happening, all right? Market comes floor, it comes floor, right? Eventually broke, retested, came down. Market is a ceiling here. Market is retesting as a floor here. Now, that same area, market is doing the same thing in the present. It's a little choppy, but I just wanted us to see something. Just for us to know. Can you see that when market came to this line, it bought? 
because it's a flaw or a ceiling in the past. And when market is above a line that you've drawn in the past, all right, that market be becomes a flaw. When it's up below, all right, that line becomes a ceiling. Am I making sense? Type in 111 in chat. All right. Type in 111 in chat. So the best thing for you to do as a trader, what I just did right now, you need to start practicing it. When the market, all right, if you have drawn your lines, like you go into the past, you draw your several lines or ceilings and several uh, floors. One of the things you want to not do, if price action, so I just showed you support and resistance, right? The next thing is price action. Price action means when a, the candles are above a particular line you've drawn, that, that line or the zone becomes what? A floor. When the price is above. When the price is below a line, the zone becomes a ceiling. So those zones are now your buys and your sales areas. Am I making sense? All right. So what does this mean right now? I'm going to delete the whole chart. So if the past have represented what has happened in the future, what does it mean technically for a trader? The present can reflect what will happen, right? in the future as well or let okay let me break down if the past way past has represented what has happened in the present what it means is technically as a trader your present can represent the future am i correct all right type in 777 in the chat I want to know if everyone is getting this. If the past has made up what has happened in the present, hypothetically, what is happening in the present right now, all right, can make up what will happen in the future. It makes sense, right? Good. So we drew all of these lines and price reacted to all of the lines. You can see that this line price got there. So what it means is when price is there, when price is below and it's coming to a line you've drawn in the past, what do you do? You set your trade for what? A sell. You're waiting for a sell, all right, in that area. So I'm going to now do something in clean. So I, I did a dirty one. Now I want to do a clean one that we can use in this upcoming week. So only those who are practicing are going to get the result, just like we got the result of the zone that I, sh I showed you guys. So I want to take this screen right now. I want to take this screen right now where I'm seeing right now. So let me, let me make it like this. All right. So just where I am seeing right now, the market is an overall ceiling here. Right. And presently it's a floor here. So we'll pick it clean. I want a clean one. Where I'm seeing is a floor here. All right. And we have a tip up. Okay. These areas, this is a floor. This is a floor. This is a floor. All right. Floor. Floor. Okay. This is a cone ceiling. All right. Uh, which other area is multiple? So the areas I'm marking are the multiple areas. Okay. Above this. Okay, let's see. So for a long time, it has not come above this. So I'm, I'm just going to pick this. Okay, so let's, this is what I want to pick right now, okay? So I've been able to mark the ceilings and the floor. Thank you. 
All right. So what I've been able to do right now, it means I now know my areas. Through the present structure, I know the areas where the market is what? Buying. So what does it mean? If this market is coming back down here, what am I going to do? All right. Because this market is a floor here. All right. And it's also a floor here. It's also a floor here. It's a ceiling here. It's a ceiling here. I'm going to take that area. All right. As a buy area. So I'm going to put a line. So what am I trying to tell you? You can buy the market when the market is coming back there. All right. So since this area is a ceiling, it's sold when you go to that area. Now, what are you going to do when it it's a ceiling? This is what took price down. All right. This is what took price down. All right. This is a floor. So I can put a line here that this place is going to be what a strong sell area. So you can likewise this is a ceiling 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 all right floor ceiling so i'm going to put a this same blue line just to represent that area Likewise, this area. So I'm recording this session so that you can practice with the session when we're doing review. So what am I going to do right now? These four lines that I've marked, all right? I'm going to put a text on this. Sell. Zone. Bye. Zone. It's going to be my cell area. This is going to be my bye. Yeah. Okay. So what it means is what? If this market comes back to this area right now, okay, I can place it so. So the market comes back hit here. Okay. I'll place a sell. If it comes back, I'll place a buy. All right. So this this area of buys and sell. Now, if price action happens to what? Break this area, maybe depending on the strength of the currency, break this area, what you're doing? You're not doing anything. You're only gonna not buy when it what? Comes to this area. But something I'll tell you, very strong, when it gets to this area, it's a sell zone. What does it mean? It's going to, it has a strong, that place I just showed you that I put a zone, it has a strong resistance based on what has happened in the past. Okay? It has a tendency of always pushing price down because you can see for a very long time after that area, there is not, for a very long time, for a very long time, it's always been pushing price. Price have always been below, all right? For a very long time. And you, in case it dares break that area, all right, this is the other area that is now going to be this another sell zone. But it's that it's there's a tendency because of what has happened in the past, price have stayed below that zone for long. Okay, it's going to push price down. So you put a strong base sell in this area. I can sell for a day here. Yeah. I can sell HFX for 24 hours, I can sell for one hour, six hours, all right? Because I know that these areas is always pushing price down, okay? If price is coming up here, if it happens to come here, I'm gonna put this word. Strong. 
Okay, but this is what I'm looking at for your cells right now. So what have, been, what have we been able to do? We've been able to identify areas where we can what? Buy the market, sell the market, buy the market, sell the market. Okay, so this area is a sell area. This area is a buy area on the lighter note. Okay, on the lighter note. So when I say on the lighter note, you do not put so much emphasis on these areas. Where I like to put emphasis, all right, that I place huge, uh, 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 maybe uh, trade value on at the zones. So because price is close to this area, and I might not be able to define if it's, a, if it's gonna be a, so I wanna put a small sell here, right? Because this is what a break and a retest. Right, so if you retest here, it's a momentum that I want to continue going down. So I can put a sell here, but let's say a push struggling momentum. You look at the currency strength meter today, all right. Uh, the Australian dollar is stronger than the US dollar, and it keeps pushing up. It might break this area, but it will get tired in this area because this area is a zone that has always been waiting for it to push it down. All right, I'm going to place a sell here when it gets there. So when it gets here, when do I sell? All right. When it gets here, it rejects and the sell candle opens. I follow the sell candle down. Am I making sense? All right. So when it gets here, it's, it's, it's a buy area. And my place is a, a buy here. All right. Short buy. These are short. Anything within this area are short. But anything within these zones, the ones I classify the zones, are what? Are strong. All right. Am I making sense? So this area is a strong zone. Don't play with this area. Okay, any questions, type it on the chat. You, yes, you're right by saying that if you can identify the areas of support and resistance, you, you will be in control. This is real deal about trading. What helps you know this is pullback? You will find the explanation of pullback in the academy. Okay, you are answering a question. Okay, okay beautiful. But it's a little elaborate as detailed by Kenbury. All right, when you've gone through the academy and you know how to draw the support and resistance, you know every of the things we talked about right now, they are in the academy. I'm just showing you how technically you can, you can put your way into drawing them. So what I just did right now, any member who does this and you begin to practice it, what is practice? You draw the lines. Whenever a price is getting there, all right, you take the action. So if this price, so let's say, okay, I want to even miss this one because price is so close. Whenever price is so close to a zone, don't be, too, you know, don't be in a hurry to jump in. You want to allow your learning instinct, see what price action is doing. So I might say, okay, I'm ignoring this right now. So you can do this. What I just did now, you can do it for several currencies, right? Several currencies, and you begin to watch them. You put the sell down the buy area. How do we do it? We went to the past and we were able to get these lines. It's easy for you to do. If you missed it, just watch the video again. All right, I'm going to post it on uh, my YouTube channel. You're going to watch it. So now what you do is practice. Now this is a practice view. When price gets here, pick a buy. So when do you pick a buy? When you see the sell candle closes and a new buy candle opens, buy the market. Just click buy, right? Maybe buy for 20 pips if you're trading Forex or buy for 30 pips or buy. You put a, put a pip just for you to see that it bought. It might not buy for 100, it might not buy for 50, but it can buy for 20, that's the buy. It means it responded to the buy. The buyers had their chance, right? When it gets to the sell area, pick a sell. I'm talking both FX and HFX. So you might now ask me, how many minutes do I take it on HFX? When it comes to those zones, you can take it for anything hours close to a day, right? When it comes to those areas, you can take it anything in 30 minutes, 45 minutes, even uh, uh, 15 minutes, all right? You can be looking at what? What you've learned from the educators based on currency, all right, strength. So do you, can I tell you one of the things that these educators do, NES, one of the things I've learned from NES, NES does this in its currency, like mostly the USDJPY, both trend, both support and resistance. He draws all of these things. And whenever he goes into the strategies, he's, he's, he's now looking at these support areas and resistant areas to take those shorter time frames, right? So what it means is, 
if I break this down, even if I decide to take it to work of 15 minutes right now, right? even if I decide to take it for 15 minutes right now, those lines are still there. It doesn't change the lines. Okay, it doesn't change the line. What it means is, if this thing comes here right now, which is the cell area, I'll place a five minutes or 15 minutes cell. Just like when it came, it sold, all right? So if it's coming again, it's gonna sell. We do this every Friday. Every Friday we do this. One of the things you wanna just to do, you wanna do is keep practicing, right? Go to the academy, study the support and resistance, study the pullbacks, every of those things, study the retest. We do this every single day. All right, there are days I, I teach on the price trap. So price trap now, everything I've done right now, when we're gonna have the price trap section, simplifies it. Because every of this zone, you get them. So there is a tool that can allow you get these zones, all right? So now I don't have to be the one going into the market to get all of those charts. It's been simplified. There's a tool that just gives me the quick ones that I need to see in this quick time. All right, and it's called the harmony scanner on Forex. So if I go to the one hour, I click on the currency pair, okay? The currency pair is telling me that these areas, these TP1, TP2, TP3, stop loss, entry, they are what? Strong zones. So all I just need to do is what? Go to my trading view, replicate these lines. So what is here right now? This is a floor. This is a ceiling. This is also a ceiling. So if I come to my trading view, I click on NZD card, I already have it there anyway. You can see, all right, I've been able to mark the support and resistance. But inside this, inside the areas of the support and resistance, the harmonics can have identified strong zones that the market also what, is rejecting to. But based on this strategy, we are not, I'm not even playing with those zones. But for someone who's trading HFX, right, you might want to see what the harmonics can is telling you about what? Entry. So entry is these areas that had rejections. So around the area of what? 8770 is an area of rejection. 870, is it 00? I, I, I chopped up right now. 8770, 8770, yeah, 8770. 8770. Okay, good. So you see these areas I just marked right now? They are sharp resistance. So what does it mean for someone who's trading HFX? I'm doing this for HFX. It means price is below that area right now. What you do on HFX is, when price comes back to that zone, place a five minutes, 15 minutes, or 30 minutes sell, all right? It means it's giving you an area to sell. This is an area to sell, and this is an area to buy, and if you see price right now, price is reacting to that buy. This is an area to buy because price is above. This is an area to buy because price is above. Short, for short people, and uh, for those trading HFX, if I say short people, <laughs> all right? Okay, but for the sale, this is an ultimate sale for the harmonic scan. It's telling me the market is coming down. But you know HFX is short time trading. So it means if the market came to this area right now, I'm going to just buy for like five or 10 minutes, all right? It's going to react just like it has reacted in the past. On our trading HFX session, we're going to elaborate on this, all right? I believe you guys have gotten value for this morning session. Type in 777 in the chat. It's a recorded session, so you can always do what Sometimes when you're on the session, you want to stick to the purpose of the session, right? Which is identifying support resistance. And you begin to work. Trade it on your demo account. Just those identify, trade it, practice. Identify, trade, practice, all right? So don't say, uh, when, I, when do I not buy in HFS? You are not, this is not a trading session, okay? So just stick to the practice. Practice makes progress. All right, so I appreciate every one of you. If you got gotten value typing in 777 in the chat, all right? If you have any question based on the topic, on the topic, you can actually type it in the next two minutes, all right? So let's run up the class. Based on the topic, if you have a question, just type it two minutes. Okay, so no questions. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing right now.
which one you say, please not on the topic. If you are going to ask a question, let it be on the topic, right? On the topic, allow me to stop sharing, uh, to stop recording. So I'm going to stop this session right now. So I appreciate everyone for being on this session. Make sure you watch the videos for clarity. Just practice with the video, how to identify the support and the resistance, right? Continually. It's going to give you what? Better, better entries on buys and sell. Okay.